welcome to our benefit event this evening to honor Dr. Bernard Laun. My name is Dr. Brita Lundberg. I'm trained as an infectious disease physician, and I'm chair of the board at Greater Boston Physicians for Social Responsibility, which was founded by Dr. Laun and colleagues in 1961. GBPSR was the first chapter of what is now PSR National, which numbers 23,000 members in 24 chapters across the country. Now it's my pleasure to turn the microphone over to Dr. Ruth Mitchell. Thanks, Brita. My name is Dr. Ruth Mitchell. I'm a neurosurgeon, and I'm joining you from unceded Coast Salish Territory in Vancouver, Canada. I'm the chair of the board of the International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War, or IPPMW, which was founded by Dr. Bernard Laun and his wonderful colleagues in Boston and around the world in 1980. Today, IPPNW is an international federation that counts as members thousands of health professionals in 60 countries. So tonight, we not only honor Dr. Lowne's legacy, but also thank him for giving us a reason to get together. And indeed, so many in this work wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for his encouragement and his inspiration. And we particularly want to acknowledge members of the Lowne family who might be joining us tonight. It's a real honor to have you with us. I think Dr. Lau would be pleased to know that this gathering and this honor is an online event that can be seen by people around the world. I recall Dr. Lau's prescient prediction in an inspirational talk that I heard him give in Newton, Massachusetts around 2002, where he predicted that the internet would be a phenomenal means to share knowledge and advance the common good. And so just as he predicted, here we are gathering together this evening in celebration of and honoring his legacy with a remarkable musical program that we hope will inspire all of us to further his vision of a healthy and peaceful world as we work to raise awareness around the twin existential threats of the climate crisis and nuclear weapons. As your masters of ceremony, we would like to give you a brief idea of our program tonight. First, we will hear from a few of Dr. Lowne's friends, his colleagues, and remarkably from the granddaughter of Dr. Eugeny Chazov, the Russian cardiologist who received the 1985 Nobel Peace Prize with Lowne on behalf of IPPNW. And then we'll hear some music from a select Longwood Symphony Orchestra Quartet, followed by some brief words about our current work at IPPNW and GBPSR. Then, as you know, this year we are thrilled to welcome cellist Yo-Yo Ma, a personal friend of Dr. Lowndes, who has chosen one of Dr. Lowndes' favorite composers, a special Bach repertoire. Our send-off will be Haydn's Symphony in C, played by the entire Longwood Symphony Orchestra. We would now like to recognize and offer our thanks for the extraordinary generosity and humanity of our sponsors for this evening event. Now, they're not just making this event possible, but also all of our important work. Thank you. Good evening. We would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to our generous sponsors. These sponsors include Dr. Ira Helfand and Dr. Deborah Smith, who ask us to join with Greater Boston PSR to build a national campaign to prevent nuclear war. This campaign is called Back from the Brink. Visit preventnuclearwar.org to get involved. An anonymous donor who asks us to reflect on this question, what hath man wrought? Brigham and Women's Department of Medicine, in recognition of Dr. Bernard Lowndes' lifelong leadership on nuclear weapons abolition and in recognizing the continued need for medical professionals to remain involved with nuclear and climate advocacy. Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, supporting the mission of our organizations in our quest to raise awareness of the most pressing public health issues of our time. And Dana Farber Cancer Institute, in honoring the memory of Dr. Bernard Laun for his scientific achievements and determined advocacy. Drs. Carl and Susan Racine, who are grateful to GBPSR for a vital advocacy work against the life-threatening dangers of nuclear war and climate change. We are living at a crucial moment and these efforts are more important than ever. 
and Dr. Lachlan Faro, who thanks our organizations for carrying on the legacy of Dr. Lown, who is one of his most important teachers and mentors for over 40 years. You can read excerpts of Dr. Lown's speeches at bit.ly backslash d doctor dash lown dash never dash whisper. The Harvard Medical School community honors the lifelong work of Dr. Bernard Lown and the advocacy of our organizations. First Republic Bank is proud to support our community. Eastern Bank is committed to recognizing the good in our communities and celebrating the work of our organizations. Tonight's musicians include a quartet from the Longwood Symphony Orchestra and cellist Yo-Yo Ma. We would like to thank the members of our terrific honorary committee for 2021. In addition to the previous sponsors listed at the symphony, concerto, and sonata levels, we would also like to thank our prelude level sponsors. And our minuet and saraband level sponsors. And last but not least, our Shakan and Pasacaglia level sponsors. Pasacaglia level sponsors continued. If you donated us to, the, to us in the past few days, your sponsorship may not be listed in the booklet. However, your contribution will be included on the event website. And we extend our gratitude towards our strong and engaged event planning committee. On Monday, October 4th at 12 p.m. Eastern time, we will be co-hosting a program with the Massachusetts Medical Society entitled Nuclear Weapons, a Public Health Issue. This course will offer one CME risk management credit. It's free to attend, but pre-registration is required. You can visit the homepage of gbpsr.org for the registration link and for more information. And lastly, if you hadn't had a chance to make a contribution and would like to do so, you can visit our event page, which can be, which can be found under events at gbpsr.org.